Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reviewing tips for replacing the MAP sensor or the Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor on this 2014 Chevy Cruze. Now let's get started. Some of the symptoms associated with a faulty MAP sensor include poor mileage, hard starting, and the ever-present engine codes P0105, P0106, and P0107, with 107 being the primary code that the engine will throw. If you look in the center of the picture right there, you'll see where the MAP sensor is located. It's right there between the engine block and the firewall. Our supply list includes a MAP sensor, a T30 star tool with a ratchet. Now let's move on. So the removal of the MAP sensor is very easy. You have to depress this retaining clip right here and then slide off the electrical connector. And then there is a screw that you can remove using your T30 star tool. It's halfway out. Okay, I've got it out. Set that off to the side. Now, what you wanna do is wiggle until it comes out. And there you have it. So there's your sensor right there. I wouldn't recommend cleaning this one. Okay, so you would simply just replace it. And when you replace it, always make sure you put a little bit of lubricating oil on this O-ring before you replace it. That way it slides in place and you get a good seal. Okay, I've added a very small amount of lubricating oil to the O-ring. You can barely see it. What you don't want to do is get that oil inside that hole right there. Okay, because that's going to throw things off. If you do get a little bit in there, go ahead and just use a Q-tip and remove the oil. Okay, reinstallation is very simple. Put it in place, and I'm just gonna press it in place so that the O-ring goes into the hole evenly. There you go. Then I'm just gonna kind of work it back and forth to make sure that O-ring's in the correct position. Reinstall the screw. Got your start tool. So this is snug. Just keep going until it stops and I'm gonna call it good right there. After that, I'm going to look at my electrical connector, make sure the gasket is formed correctly. This is a waterproof seal. Okay, it looks good, it's not deformed. And I'm just going to slide it back into place and listen for the click. There's the click. Okay, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.